for this project you're going to need three different colors and you can pretty much use even any leftover yarns as you can see i'm using scrappy yarns and you're going to need three different colors a scissor four millimeter crochet hook and that's it and you're going to make this vintage flower you can use any yarn color to start with in my case i'm going to start with this one so to start make a magic ring insert the hook inside yarn over and chain one now make eight single crochet inside the magic ring Once you get 8 single crochet, now just pull this yarn tail under to fully close your circle. Then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet stitch you have started with to join your work. Chain 1 to close your work. So once you have chained 1, now make 2 double crochet into that same th stitch you have made a slip stitch. Now continue making two double crochet in each stitch all the way around. I'll meet you at the end to show you the next step. Once you get 16 double crochet stitches, now slip stitch on top of the first on top of the first double crochet stitch you have started with to join your work. Chain one to close your work and you can cut off the end because next you're going to move to a different yarn color. Next Make a slip knot. Then start make working in any stitch of your choice. Chain one. Now make three double crochet inside this same stitch. Chain one. Skip one stitch, three double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one again and just repeat doing that all the way until end of this round. I'll meet you at the end to show the next step with another color. So just continue doing that all the way until the end. I'll meet you at the end to show the next step. So once you reach the end here, just chain one and slip stitch on top of this first double crochet stitch. Make sure in between there should be also one skipped stitch for the previous round. Do not chain one and do not cut off your yarn. Just pull this yarn up like this. Next, you are going to move to a different yarn color, which is going to be the background color. This is the petal one. So next... Make a slip knot and this time around you are going to work in these skipped stitches for the previous round. And you can start in any stitch of your choice. Chain 1. Now make one double crochet into that same stitch you have made a slip stitch or you have joined your yarn. Chain 4. Double crochet into the next stitch. Remember you are only working into this other previous color not the petal one into those skipped stitches so make a, a double crochet into this next stitch chain four again double crochet into the next stitch and just continue doing that all the way until end of the round i'll meet you at the end to come show you the next step so just go ahead doing that double crochet Chain 4 all the way until the end. I'll meet you at the end here to come show you the next step. So once you reach the end here, just chain 4. Slip stitch on top of this first double crochet stitch you have started with. Do not chain 1 and do not cut off the end. Just pull up your yarn like this. And now you're going to switch back to this other color for the petal. Where is she and I are going to do some adjustments. 
so just make a one double crochet into that same stitch two double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and remember you're only working to the petal for this petal and just keep pushing the background color a little bit behind like this to make it easy for you now chain two just bring the petal a little bit in front like that now make double crochet into this first stitch put double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch chain two and just repeat that all the way until the end i'll meet you here at the end to show you the next step so here we are at the end chain two slip stitch on top of the first double crochet stitch you have started with and again do not chain one and do not cut off the yarn just pull it up like this uh, to switch back to the background color just bring it in front and pull this one a bit to have a workable length make two double crochet into that same stitch chain five two double crochet into the next stitch and remember you're working only into the background color pull the petal one a little bit backward chain five two double crochet into the next stitch and just continue doing that all the way until the end I'll meet you at the end to come show you the next step. So at the end here, make sure you have chained 5 before you slip stitch on top of this first double crochet stitch you have started with to join your work. And again, do not chain 1 and do not cut off the end, just pull it up like this. And now you're going to switch back to the petal color. Make one double crochet into that same stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Chain two. Just push this background color backward like that and push the petal one in front one double crochet into this first stitch for the petal color two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet in each of the next two stitches chain two and just continue doing that all the way until the end at the end make sure you have chain two before slip stitch on top of the first double crochet stitch i'll meet you at the end to come show you the next step slip stitch on top of the first double crochet stitch and now just chain one because now you're going to do something different now make a single crochet into that same stitch skip the next stitch and make five double crochet into the next stitch Skip the next stitch, make a single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, single crochet into the first stitch of the next petal, skip one stitch, five double crochet into the next stitch, Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, and just continue doing that all the way until the end. At the end here, I'll meet you to come show the next step. So at the end here, chain two, slip stitch on top of the first single crochet stitch you have started with, 
chain one and you can cut off the yarn because now we are just going to use the background color we are done with the petal just bring this background color in front into a workable length make one double crochet into that same stitch two double crochet into the next stitch now flip the petal in front like this and you are going to work into this chain 5 at the back here now make 5 double crochet into this chain 5 space flip it back like that make one double crochet into the next stitch remember you are only working to the background color two double crochet into the next stitch flip the petal and make five double crochet into this chain five space and just continue doing that all the way until end of this round at the end i'll meet you to come show the next step at the end here slip stitch on top of this first double crochet stitch you have started with chain one now make single crochet back into that same stitch and continue making single crochet into the next in each of the next five stitches a total of six single crochet stitch half tap crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch two double crochet into the next stitch to create your first corner chain two two more double crochet back into that same space to complete your corner one double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch now make 11 single crochet into the next 11 stitches actually make one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches once you get 11 single crochet stitches now make half double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch two double crochet into the next stitch to create your second corner chain two Two more double crochet back into that same stitch and just continue repeating the pattern all the way until the end. At the end, you must make sure you are ending with five single crochet because six single crochet st stitches that you have started with plus the fifth one is going to be 11 single crochet stitches. So just continue doing that all the way until the end of this row or round. I'll meet you at the end to show the next step. At the end here, sl slip stitch on top of this first single crochet stitch chain one now make half double crochet back into that same stitch make more half double crochet into each of the next three stitches now make double crochet into the next seven stitches As well as into this one, which is the seventh one. One double crochet into this corner. Chain two. One more double crochet into the corner. Now make seven double crochet into the next seven stitches. Make four half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Make nine double crochet in each of the next nine stitches. 
in corners just make one double crochet chain two one more double crochet and just repeat the pattern all the way until the end at the end here we are going to end with nine double crochet stitches to get nine double crochet stitch now just slip stitch on top of the first double crochet stitch you have started with to join your work chain one and you can cut off the yarn to finalize your squares if you want you can add one more extra row with any other yarn color of your choice which means in my case i'm going to use the same yarn color that i'm going to use to my to join my squares together as you can see this one i have done off camera i have made the last row with the white yarn color and it's the same yarn color i'm going to use to join my squares together and this row is just going to be made with single crochet stitches only so let me just show you how i've done the other ones off camera so just make a slip knot and you can start in any stitch of your choice just remember to grab both loops chain one now make single crochet back into that same stitch and continue making single crochet in each stitch around all the way until you reach the corner i'll meet you in the corner to show you how i'm going to do the corner so once you reach here remember also to make a single crochet into this last stitch here it's a bit tricky but just try to make a single crochet as well into that stitch then make one more single crochet into the corner chain two one more single crochet into the corner single crochet into this first stitch here and just continue making single crochet all around like this until here remember in corners you must make single crochet chain two and single crochet back into the corner all the way around until you reach here i will meet you once i reach here So here at the end just slip stitch on top of this first single crochet stitch we have started with chain one and you can cut off the yarn so just make sure all your squares they must be ended with the same color and this is the same color you're going to use to join your squares together actually to create the perfect invisible joining so here is the back panel which consists of three by three retro granny squares which is equivalent to nine total squares front panel is made up of three retro granny squares of which it's a total of six granny squares for both panels sleeve is made up of six granny squares of which both panels have a total of 12 retro granny squares for joining you can use yarn, any yarn color of your choice and I'm going to use single crochet method for joining my squares together. So just start in this chain one between here in the corners. So which means in the corners instead of making two double crochets. In the corners instead of making chain twos like I usually do, I only made chain one. So just slip stitch in that chain one in the corner. Chain one to secure then go back inside again to make the single crochet and attach another square to it and just make sure when you are joining the right side is the one that's up So just go ahead making single crochet in each stitch for both squares. Just make sure when you 
Joining your squares, they, they should not be squares of the same color near to each other. Try to mix them up. So for this one, again, just try to look for chain one in the corner. And this is just the same procedure you're going to repeat for joining your pieces together actually starting with the back panel front panels and both sleeves you have just to use the same method at the end just chain one to secure your work and you can cut up the yarn so next you're going to join these parts together Use these chain one spaces between here, do not skip them as well, where you have previously also worked. As well as on the other side, start in those chain one spaces where you have previously worked also. like this so this is how your work must be looking like so just go ahead until you have fully joined all your pieces together to form all your five panels Jenny, you are going to use a single crochet stitch but you are going to work in both loops and just make sure the right sides are the one that are up You're going to start with the shoulders part of which you're going to attach front panels to the back panel before you start attaching sleeves to both a back panel and front panels. And you're still going to use the same method you have used to join your granny squares together.
Now you are going to attach your stays to the main project of which you are still going to use the same method you have used to join your pieces together. Still using the same method, go ahead and join your sides of the cardigan as well as completing your sleeves with using the same method which is single crochet stitches before you go on to the edging part. For cuffs, as you can see, this one I've already done it off camera, and this one is the one that I'm going to do on camera. Whereas for cuffs, I'm just going to do the front post double crochet stitches and back post double crochet stitches. Actually, that's the same thing I'm going to do for my all edges. So to begin, just make a slip knot, and you can use any yarn color of your choice. And you're going to start in any stitch of your choice, and just remember to do this with the right side out. First, just make a double crochet back into that same stitch and continue making double crochet around in each stitch all the way until the end. I'll meet you at the end to show the next step how I'm actually going to do the front post double crochet and the back post double crochet stitches. At the end, here just try to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet stitch you have started with to join your work. Chain one, do not then just make a front post double crochet stitch like this. Yarn over for this back post double crochet like this. Instead of going into the stitch, you are now going to work like this. Get the front post and the double uh, the back post, you are going again to start like this, and but you are going to flip the double crochet stitch backward like this front post, back post, which means the front post you are pushing the double crochet stitch post uh, in front and the back post you are pushing the uh, double crochet post backward. Continue alternating between the front post double crochet stitch and the back post double crochet all the way until end of this round. Now 
you're going to end with a back post double crochet stitch. Now slip stitch on top of this first double crochet stitch. Chain one and I'm going to repeat it one more time. You can repeat this around as much as you want depending on how long or how big you want your cuff to be. In my case I'm just going to do it twice. So this is my last round. And you're just still going to continue alternating between the front post double crochet stitch and the back post double crochet stitch all the way through till the end. Just like that. So just continue doing that all the way until the end. So here at the end, remember to always end with a back post double crochet stitch before you slip stitch. And you're always going to slip stitch on top of this first double crochet stitch. Chain one and you can cut off the yarn. Next, we're going to work at the bottom part of the cardigan. And I'm going to start in this chain one that's in the corner here. And you can still use any yarn color of your choice. In my case, I'm still going to use the same yarn color I'll use for my cuffs. Just chain one to fully attach your yarn. Then make a double crochet back into that same stitch. Now continue making double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way until the end. Actually at the end here in this chain one space for this corner here on the other side. Just remember you are working only at the bottom part of the cardigan this time around. And actually this is just the same pattern again also to repeat for the front parts of the cardigan. By working all the way up your front corners to the neck to form your neck bend. You're also just going to do the same thing. And you're still going to make the front post double crochet stitches and the back post double crochet stitches. The same thing you've done for your calves. So just go ahead doing that all the way until the end by making double crochet in each stitch all the way. Then by turning, you're going to alternate between the front post double crochet stitch and the back post double crochet stitch. Remember this last stitch you are going to end here is this chain one that's in this corner. So just chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to work in front post and back post double crochet and you're going to start with a back post double crochet stitch. And like I said you're going to repeat this as many times as you want. In my case I'm only going to repeat it three times but depending how big you want your bottom part of the cardigan to be. So just continue alternating between the front post double crochet stitch and the back post double crochet stitch all the way until the end of this row. So at the end just chain one and repeat. In my case I'm going to repeat it three times. Or twice. It depending. It's very much optional. But it is actually depending on how big you want your bottom part of the cardigan to be. To start making the edgings for the front panels, you actually you're going to start in the first stitch for the bottom part of the cardigan's edgings, all the way up around the neck to make the neck bend and all the way down again until you reach the last stitch for the bottom parts of the cardigan's edgings. By using uh, double crochet stitches before you come back again making front post double crochet stitches and back post double crochet stitches and you can repeat as much as you want depending on how big you want your ribbing panel to be i mean your edgings to be in my case i've already done it only twice which means the edging is only having two rounds for both calves bottom part bottom part of the cardigan as well as the neck bend <laughs> 